Good morning, Zach Zimbog. And it is time for Bog BioBlitz 8. And we got to do it virtual this year, but uh, still going to be a lot of fun. Um, and what is a BioBlitz, really? Well, they were started many years ago in the maybe 1970s, 60s, 70s, um, where there was maybe a tropical rainforest that was going to be cut down and the organization would send in biologists covering all different aspects of natural history to basically document what they were going to lose and uh, you know maybe forever so they'd collect specimens identify everything it's kind of evolved over the last 40 years into more of a uh, educational event citizen science event uh, it is a great way for us to add to our database um, we have just topped 2,000 species for Sag Zimbog, which is pretty amazing. But we've got a long way to go. So come on along. And today is the start of the BioBlitz, so I hope you guys can get out. Um, we have a post on the Facebook page and kind of give you details on how to, to play along. And you can also upload stuff to not only Facebook with the hashtag BogBioBlitz2020, but also um, iNaturalist, where we're gonna have a project set up to collect your sightings. All right, let's go see what we can find. We're gonna swing through beautiful downtown Meadowlands. You know, we normally don't bird or bio blitz in an area like this, but I hear a ruby-throated hummingbird and a house wren. Those are not easy birds to get out away from habitation. I'm starting the morning in this patch of milkweed and today I think I'm going to concentrate on insects but maybe not maybe not the tiny brown drab insects I'm talking the big showy insects the insexies we could say maybe the um, the buzzing and the beautiful the winged wonders the six-legged uh, special guys. Anyway, we're gonna look for them. young snowshoe hare out eating some clover in the morning here. Nice. Looks like we got some weather moving in.
Ah, neat, neat, neat. This is a species I've never actually found before or seen before. It's called the, if I remember, a golden sedge or golden fruited sedge, Carex aurea. It's not extremely rare, but uh, <laughs> very distinctive. Our board chair, Lori, let's just say, has strong feelings about sedges, and uh, I think her response is going to be passionate about this find. I think we'll end here at uh, Fringed Gentian Bog, Augie's Bog Walk. Uh, we just installed the sign just a few days ago. And just a short 360 foot boardwalk that leads to the trailhead so you can make a loop through the Black Spruce Bog. Well, I think that wraps up my Bog Bio Blitz. And uh, yeah, some really fun stuff. Uh, the weather was uh, maybe not totally conducive for all those insexies. Um, looked for tiger beetles, but I think it was just a little bit too cool and a little bit too cloudy. But we found some really cool stuff. Our head naturalist Clinton has been keeping track of our master list of species. And the other night he and his wife Christina put us over 2,000 species <laughs> and uh, they've been doing a credible amount of work on our master list and um, they got I think 11 or 19 species brand new of moths and uh, so yeah it's it's not just birds in the Saxon bog not just owls not just winter um, come on up spring summer fall uh, you're sure to find something but uh, do your homework, uh, kind of read up on what you're looking for. So I hope you can get up here in the next uh, few days. Our virtual online Bog Bio Blitz goes through Monday the 20th. And uh, yeah, share your sightings on iNaturalist. We have a project set up there or on our Facebook page, our Facebook group, I should say, and just hashtag Bog Bio Blitz 2020. And yeah, we'll have some fun awards for the best photos in different categories and maybe the best story, uh, things like that. So yeah, get out there and enjoy it. Keep your list and let us know what you see. I have to look up that strange fly. That we saw in the milkweed. Oh, there it is. Thick-headed fly. Interesting. That is it. Great wasp mimic, yeah. Females look for an adult wasp or bee to inject one of her eggs into its abdomen while in flight. The host continues its business and succumbs to the internal parasite at about the time of its normal lifespan. The new generation of thick-headed fly emerges from the abdomen. Crazy. You always find something cool during a bio blitz, and this would be my lifer for the day. Keep your feet wet in the bog and your head in the clouds, the canopy of black spruce. Yeah, I still have not got my, uh, my outro down pat. We'll keep trying. Take care.